I just be here busting up everything. <laughs> Plenty of succulents in the flesh. No, did he? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, boss man. What well, one, people? I'm here today with the man himself. Jimmy, come on, you know the vibes. We're here at Homerton. Uh, we're going to be going down the road to Well Street. Going to check out a little little food spot. Mm. Little chicken spot, e shop. Mm. Straight, out, straight in Well Street, you know what I'm saying? So, proper things. All right. Hopefully, the boss man that's been feeding the 98s <laughs> is going to be feeding me well. <laughs> but before we get into any of that, we must get into the crepe check. The crepe check? Yeah. Okay. Boom bow. <laughs> on foot today, I got on the Nike Air Max. Take a guess, people. 98, of course, it's making sense. Tall yellow. Nice little lady. Little bit of yellow. Not too shabby. Clean step. Who's the Air Max socks and all sorts? Yeah, listen, listen. I'm doing it all. I'm doing it properly. And switching over to you. Can see you got a little, little dunks on, man. That's sound I like, man. Just the. The D roads, you know what I'm saying? The D roads. <laughs> <Trust me. laughs> I hear it, they're clean yeah. still. Yeah, love, man. Nice little new buck. Hey, there's nothing else to say. We'll see you in a second at the shop. Gotta say, I'll work, man. Let's go. This place is looking. What's going on, brother? How are you? I'm good. You're right, boss. You, right? Can I get the. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, the, the chicken fillet burger with three wings. Okay, and then then, this one is like uh, offer, I'll give you five pounds, everything, drink as well. Okay, so free wings, the chips, and a drink with the burger. Okay, I'll take that. Can I get four wings? Yeah. And can I get a portion of popcorn chicken as well, please? So first, ooh, risky one. We're going to dive into the chips. They have got a little bit cold. Not really cold, they're still warm, but... You know what, it's better than when it was fresh, fresh out the fryer. I don't think I put enough salt on it though. I can't lie, when it was fresh, fresh out the fryer, it had a crispness to the edges. It was, it seemed like it was over fried. But since it's been sitting in here, it's kind of got sawned off, steamed itself. So right now it's, it's, it's primed for absorption. But fresh out the fryer, not really. Boss man, he does need a new supplier. He needs to find a new plug. The insides, you can see, Potato content is not as dense as it as it should be for a chip this thick. Absorbs a bit too much oil, but they are working class chips. They are the blue color kind. Salute to them. We do need them in our society, but they're like a 2.2. 2. 2. 2. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. No, no, out of, out of five. Oh, out of five out yeah, yeah, so it's, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's subpar, but it's not crazy. <laughs> Gonna need a palate cleanser for this one. I'm a free agent once again. Capri Sun, let's talk. Did need that palate cleanse. So some popcorn chicken there. Mm. A bit of marinated with a bit of ketchup, a bit of mayo, and the best chili you're back. This chili's been slapping for years. First time on the channel, popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken, trust me. I've got on a belly, man. I got on a belly. Say <laughs> swear. Yeah, right. It is what it is. Oh, it is what it is. It's real life. Put the sauce on the belly. It is what it is, isn't it? Listen, it's good popcorn chicken. Most popcorn chicken, sometimes it's a bit laborious because they do too much with the bread in. Mm. And it's very crunchy and you have to fight through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this one. This one, hey, I can't lie. I've had one. I feel like I can get a portion and inhale it. <laughs> yeah, man, golden. Fry to perfection. <laughs> <laughs> Out of five, I'll give it a three. Fair. I ain't gonna over exaggerate on it, but I'll give it a three. I hear you. I, I, I say it's, I say it's a good, it's a good 3.5. 3.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, but I'm listen, scores are scores. Over, over average. Yeah. I'm here, so. I would say probably use barbecue sauce though, but that's just my preference. Barbecue. I'm a barbecue sauce kind of guy. You know what? That's a good point actually. You did mention the chili sauce, chili sauce yeah. and we do have some, so I am gonna see what it's saying with the chips. Thing is, he is quite juicy, so yeah, I'm hesitant about leakages. It is quite runny. I will say that. I'm not a big fan of runny kind of sauces, but flavors are good. It does almost have a. There was definitely Scotch bonnet in this. <laughs> the heat is there, loud. I don't really give sauces scores, but. 
this is a good sauce. I won't use decimal points. I'd say this is a four for chili sauces. It would be better if it was thicker. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. No diddy. No diddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into the wings. So we're already seeing serious signs of wing pattern boldness. <laughs> um, these ones here, listen, people, you are what you eat. Be careful. You might see your hairline receding after too many of these, but you can tell already the bread in, the bread in is looking extra juicy, lubricated, but it looks like it's got the kebab shop twang and the flavors are gonna be super loud. If I needed to be, I would. The wings are loud. They they look horrendous, but they taste they taste cold, in a good way. They are hot. The bread in is kind of too chewy. It's a problem, but again, the flavors with it. I'm salivating talking about it. Scoville unit, some point. Yeah, it goes crazy. I'm not there. I'll just be here busting up everything. <laughs> Collaboration is, yeah? yeah. Top tier. Yeah, I, I, I do try. This, this is my craft. This is my profession after all. Yeah. Plenty of succulents in the flesh. I was weary at first thinking this would have, you know, a lot of extra anatomy, bare veins and arteries dangling about. It's not that bad. Chicken's clean. The breading needs help. It does look like it's holding onto a lot of grease. Skinned it off. No, did he? <laughs> 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 no, did he? <laughs> do what I want. <laughs> Shout out, YJ. I do what I want. No, did he? The wing does have a lot of cosmetic problems, but when it comes to the actual flavors, the spices, how peppered off it is, boss man done his job. There's a reason why he's got a lot of them stacked in the back. I don't think he's going to have any problems getting rid of them. I can tell from how much he's got stocked in there, yeah, he yeah, knows yeah. he's getting it gone. Yeah, he's getting it gone still. So. These men are flying packs. <laughs> 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 so overall, out of five, these wings are a clean, they are, they are strong 4.3. Great. Yeah, if boss man gets the textures on point for the bread in, they'll be up there still. You know what these wings remind me of? Mm. You, see, you see when you go to the, the African parties, yeah? Yeah. You go to the African parties and they got the fried, they got the fried wings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The ones that auntie did herself. The auntie did, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. them and think like, right, these are a bit overdrive. Yeah. But they're not really overdrive. Mm. I'll give these wings about, probably like the same amount, probably like a four. Calm. I'll say about four. I hear it. What are you saying? You good? The Al Chibino here coming out and Coming out of nowhere. Break the camera on this <laughs> man. Outside, man. Come to join us on this wig excursion. Getting into the burger. Ah, uh, boss man. Okay, so I did ask him. Burger sauce on one side, barbecue sauce on the other side. Do you have barbecue sauce? Oui. Uh, do you have burger sauce? Yes. Uh, could I have barbecue sauce on one side, burger sauce on the other side? And lettuce. And lettuce. Okay. We'll see if he followed instructions. Uh, yeah. The barbecue sauce is looking rather thin. He, he definitely cut it down. <laughs> it's looking wham. We'll try this appendage first. I can confirm the chicken is proper. It does have a better texture than other places I've been to recently. Okay, now this is where the problem kind of kicks in. Because he decided to cut down the burger sauce, no, cut down the barbecue sauce. The burger sauce looks, it's as thick as it should be fresh out the bottle. The barbecue sauce, not so much. What that does is when you add the bread into the equation, the whole bite gets a lot drier. And it is a dry bite of a burger. The bread is pretty nice. I can't complain about that. Soft, I think he toasted it as well. The fillet itself, somehow, is quite thin in places, but still quite dry. Disappointed, man. Yeah, I am. Really and truly, I'm like that. 
I just hoped for a, a nice fillet burger and you know what, it's nice overall, but it's not peng. It's not like, it's not levels. <laughs> it's not levels, but. So it's standard. Yeah, it'll get you by. Cut through. Yeah, like, like if, if you're hungry and you just need your belly filled with food, um, <laughs> this will get you by. But if you're looking for flavors, if you're looking for the best, the best burgers about, this isn't, this isn't really cutting it. But it's nice though, it's all right. The bread is carrying though. The jacket was a bit too big on this Philip burger. <laughs> Man should have sized down. I remember I got a jacket one time in, in, in prime, not primary school, secondary school. I think I was year eight. I remember like last year I found the jacket. I tried it on, still don't fit me. What's up to now? Yeah. <laughs> Now you know what it was a medium but like back then those mediums were a different kind of medium it was like it was yeah. super baggy yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out Mackenzie <laughs> <laughs> this Philip burger overall it's a 3.4 it's a 3.4 it's all right it's a bit it's a bit high it's a bit high like uh, <laughs> the criticism you have on it so. it's true because the thing is I'm thinking if if you're not looking at anything you just take a bite is it a decent bite it's all right. Hey, people, we were here today at Perfect Fried Chicken, AKA eShop. eShop. E boss man's pretty blessed. Uh, boss, you have salt and pepper? Of course, why not? Cheers, boss. Thanks. Oh, boss, do me a favor, yeah? Just give him a tub of chili sauce. I normally pay each, but I'll give you Come on. today, no problem. Come on, man. Cheers, boss. I would say they could definitely attract more customers if they updated the decor. Can't lie, judging from the aesthetics, this isn't a place I would feel like trusting. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what, yeah? Mm. These men have been there for about easily 20 years. The shop overall, the prices aren't too bad actually. Philip Burger Mill, five pound, square five pound with three wings as well. In this day and age is is, is a bit of a bit of a rarity. Overall, I, I say it's a good. It's a good 3.8. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Yeah, boy, that was us here today in Homerton. Myself, Jimmy. Come on, we outside. We are. Trust me. And you're inside watching this, most likely. Probably. Probably. Yeah. There's a high likelihood of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I have nothing else to say. Do you have something to say to the people? Mm, not much, you never know. Might get a part two. Might take it to a better chicken shop. It's a good shout. Yeah. I've only been to Holland one time, this time. So maybe next time. Yeah. We'll see you then. Peace. Enjoy the views. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rosie, you're a fair one. <laughs> <laughs>